Hey guys, Apathy back here with another video. Today I'm going to be using the CUDA and showing you why the CUDA is such a dominant gun. But I do want to talk about something else. And this man is fucking using a trip mine with a shock charge. He deserves to die 100%. But before I get into the CUDA situation and how good this gun is and why I freaking love this gun, I want to talk about something else because it's been racing my through my mind the past like, what, how, 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 many, how many days have it been? Like 10 days? Like you understand, when you're a gamer, you forget how many days pass by. Like, I, the past couple days, I've been asking, like, hey, what day it is? Is it, is it Friday? Is it Saturday? Like, it just happens, you know? You're just constantly playing. You're constantly grinding. Time flies by so freaking fast, and you end up just forgetting about it. Oh, my God. And I'm so close to my streaks, and I died by a trip mine. Ain't nothing new out here, man. Ain't nothing new in this pub world. But either way, guys, like I was talking about, and you guys saw, it happened, I think, two days ago. I watched an HR's video about it, too. Talking about the whole situation about MLG. You know, getting bought out by Activision and Blizzard. I believe it was Blizzard. And, you know, I just I just really hope that... I'm really hoping that I can go to Twitch. Obviously, that's not for certain. Nothing's for certain. Everyone is wondering the same thing. Nate Shot's wondering. No one knows anything right now. And it, it's... That's just the way it is, right? You're never gonna know. And it's just... It just sucks the fact that we don't know right now. And we will probably won't know soon again. Let's go to the streaks. And we're just getting raped out here. But I just really hope that, you know, things change and that I can go to Twitch. And I would love to go to Twitch. And I'm pretty sure Nate Sean Scump would love to go to Twitch. And we all would love to go to Twitch. Who wouldn't, right? It's freaking Twitch. It's the best place to be. the best streaming platform right now. And I just hope that things can change. But this is my theory with that whole thing about, about MLG by now. So, now it might be a little crazy. It might be a little bit random. But this is what I think, okay? Oh, my God. I think... That the reason Activision bought out MLG streaming <laughs> MLG platform was because they could get the biggest streamers on Twitch, and that's going to be growth for Call of Duty. And obviously, it's helping them out, but it's going to be it's in so many ways going to be growth for Call of Duty, and it's going to be good for us in the community. Because if you bring Nate Shot and Scump, the two biggest streamers on MLG right now, if you were to move them to Twitch, guess what, guys? Guess freaking what? Guess what? You guys are not get. I'm, oh yeah, sorry, you guys are not. Get all right. So they will help MLG grow so much. It, oh my God! You, you, Vladimir, stop! Literally going in a spree and this kid's trip minding me every damn time. No, guys, like I, I, it's pissing me off. It's legit pissing me off. Back to what I was saying. If you buy out the thing and you. You can help them get on Twitch. Like, why wouldn't you, right? Like, oh my God! Like, Activision has the money. If they buy, if they bought, they bought MLG, whatever. They can obviously use their assets and work with their companies and everything to make more money. So, at the end of the day, it's not like they're losing anything. All they're helping is growth for MLG. And I mean, sorry, sorry, I'm, not, I'm losing it. They, all, they, they're helping growth for Twitch and for Call of Duty. And on top of that, they, they, they you know, they did a good business sell, you know, and. MLG is apparently going broke, and it's just a it's a good deal for them. They can make money off them. You know, they just had to make the investment. But that's my theory. I think they did it for to to get these guys off the contract. Now, obviously, that's a long stretch, and it might be false, but you know, <laughs> it was worth a try. You know, I like to think outside the box. But either way, guys, I will be using the CUDA today, and the purifier is gone. Like I am using the CUDA. You guys have been seen seen some dominance being asserted in this game. I'm currently using four attachments. I like to use four attachments. I use four attachments in competitive matches when Tac Mask is banned. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm dead. When Tac Mask is banned, and the only reason I do that is because, well, not when Tac Mask is banned, when flashes and stuns are banned. I'm sorry, sorry for that. Let me correct myself. Because you do not need to run Tac Mask, and if you do not need to run Tac Mask, you could, like, all right, you're obviously sacrificing an EMP and a nade. But I definitely prefer an EMP uh, for attachments on this beautiful gun sometimes rather than rocking the EMP and Nate. And that's just me, right? I mean, it's very helpful having four attachments. Come on, just fight me! Fight me! Ah! Where's this guy? Oh, okay, yeah. Either way, guys. So I just prefer four attachments. So, I mean, you guys can do the same thing. And I love this gun. And that's the reason I love that gun, because of that type of range. And it's so easy to hit those bullets. But either way, guys, like I said, you could use the um, four attachments. It's really good. Basically, what I like to use is grip, long barrel, quick draw, and extended mags. 
It's the best four attachments you can use. Now, here, I'm going to give you guys a little tip on something. And I'm just going to talk about this. You know, go a little bit in depth with this because it's been something that a lot of you have been talking about, about the CUDA. So, the CUDA here is very good. Has let, a little recoil. You know, you can map players pretty easy. A lot of players have been preferring long barrel over grip. And it's understandable. You do not really need grip in this gun. Like, the grip is not necessary. It obviously helps. I gotta meet these people. Obviously helps, but the thing is, this gun has so little recoil and it's so good that it doesn't really need grip. So, what the players do is they use long barrel instead. And I understand, you know, I. I tried it out, you know, I've been using grip this whole time, I've loved grip, the grip on this gun is like my favorite, I mad people like nothing, like look at that, there's no recoil, there's like almost no recoil whatsoever, and for a sub that's that's really nice, and it's something I've been using lately, and I just feel like, you know, I put long barrel, I tried it out in the competitive match, you know, I think it was Krim, we're playing with Krim, he's like, yo, I've been using long barrel, and I'm like, oh, I've been using grip, and we've both been playing really good. And I just like, oh, you know what? Uh, everyone's apparently saying long barrel is good. That's what everybody's using. Let me try long barrel. And let's just say things didn't go too good. I pulled out grip and I just started asserting dominance all over the place. People are like, holy shit, apathy. Is that the real you? Because right now I I don't know. You might be the fake apathy. And I was like, dude, this is me. I'm that good Dakota. So I don't know, guys. I, I personally prefer the grip. And another reason is why is here. Here's why. It's because... Long barrel isn't as effective on subs than it is for ARs, and I'm pretty sure you guys know this already. Um, most of you don't. Uh, you know what's his name? Uh, Drifter made a YouTube video on this, uh, talking about how effective long barrel is on subs. I mean, on ARs and on subs, and how it's so much better on ARs, and it's proven, right? He he did the the stats or whatever, and it's not even that good on subs. It only increases damage by 25% extra, which is very minimum. It's not that it's not that good. But when it comes to long range shots with the uh, with the ARs, it's like a hundred something percent, which is like quadruple the damage. So it's like really crazy the stats, and that's why you know I just prefer not to use this. Like I prefer not to use long barrel on the, on the sub, unless it's like the Cuda, which I feel like lacks damage. Then maybe I mean not the Cuda. God, I'm like mixing so many names today. It's pissing me off. But if it's not like the um, the Weevil, the Weevil is the one that lacks damage. If it's not like the Weevil then I personally would not recommend to use long barrel. But it does add an extra, a little bit of damage, you know, one bullet every long shot kill or every long range kill, you might kill the guy in one bullet faster, which it's, you know, it's pretty nice. It's not, it's not like crazy good, but you know, it might help here and there. But I just prefer the grip. I prefer the no recoil whatsoever and doing shit like this. I was going to say like this until I got shot by a Kuda in the back of my head. And he's dead. But yeah, guys, that's just really what I prefer. I think it's just so much better. And, you know, but definitely use extended mags as well. I believe extended mags is really effective on this class. You should have extended mags or at least fast mags. It only has a 30 clip. And with extended mags, you just get to spray more. You get to pre-fire more. And you get to get more kills. Because sometimes you get, like, let's say you get a kill. And out of nowhere, you need a reload. Like, out of nowhere, you need ammo. And it's like, extended mags and fast mags are just so helpful when it comes to that. So I definitely recommend you using one of those. Get in the damn kill, you kill whores. But yeah, guys, this gun is just so good. And I, I I literally been using it over the VMP every time. Like, and I do good. I like, I like rape. It's not even I do good. I rape. Like, people are like, oh, yeah. Like, there's like, some pro, pro players know. Like, they'll use, the, they'll use the, the, the CUDA. But then, like, the other, like, it'll be like three players, VMP, one player CUDA. When the VMP is allowed and the CUDA is allowed, investors are banned. And I'll just be that one player using the free, using the CUDA or like the it will be like one or two of us because some people know how good the CUDA is not everybody knows yet and it's also obviously um what do you prefer you know personal preferences I prefer like I said the CUDA some people just prefer the VMP overall but I personally think the CUDA is better it's such a good gun it will kill the it will kill the VMP mid to long range almost every time the only time I think the CUDA I mean the VMP stands a chance is when Oh my god, get the hill! Well, we lost, but I dropped 82 kills, 33, he's like, I saw some dominance. And I think the CUDA will kill the VMP mid-range, long-range every time. It could map ARs pretty easy long-range and mid-range every time. 
And the only time in my struggle against a VMP is very, very, very close range. But even then, the CUDA stands a good chance. So this is why I love the CUDA. I freaking love the CUDA. It's such a good gun. And I don't know. I hope you guys start using it more. I'm just giving tips out here. You guys don't have to use it. But you guys can definitely try it out and see how it goes. This has been your boy, Apti. I hope you enjoyed this live commentary. And I'm out. Have a good day. Peace.